trees and their needles are annoying. I got a totally random phone call this morning from DJI. They were calling to ask me how my experience was with their repair. And I explained to them that I had absolutely no idea what they did. Uh, and I got like over a dozen emails that didn't really say anything. And she was like, oh yeah. She said, I'm kind of confused too. Uh, the tech didn't really make a lot of sense. It looks like they replaced the entire aircraft, the camera and the gimbal and the controller. And the new serial number has now been linked to your account. And I was like, oh, so they just replaced everything. Probably why it works so good now. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, the drone's brand new. Um, and it seems to be working good, Just waiting for it to stop raining so I can go fly it around some more. Right now though, I'm gonna go grab some stuff out of the storage unit. I was digging around yesterday and ran across a box that had my remote starter in it. So I'm gonna go install that on the green van, I think, uh, cause it'd be nice to hit a switch and preheat the thing. The stuff's always fun. We got the dashboard torn apart and uh, we're gonna get stuff wired up. Just take some time. Well, I managed to get the remote start installed on the van. Let's see if it actually worked. Success. The only thing that's super obnoxious is that beeper from the freaking easy lock. I might have to actually disable that thing because, uh, eh. That's annoying. I uh, put some vinyl on the wall here the other day, as you can see. But, turns out they're using some sort of like Teflon infused paint or something because these letters are peeling off. And yeah, see how they're like coming loose. This is high in vinyl too. I might have to make it again and use some stuff that's a little bit thicker. It's morning. Uh, probably one of the few times I've been awake before 8 a.m. in recent history. Anywho, uh, there's a technician coming out to look at my power chair. Doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be fixed, but they're gonna look at it and see what repairs need to be done and then attempt to resubmit that request to the insurance company. So this time it'll be more than just me saying, hey, I want it repaired. Because before they wouldn't repair it saying over, -util over utilization or something like that. I'm gonna finish waking up and yeah, we'll see how this goes. He came, he took a look at it, he took off. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go head over to the grocery store. It's like 10.30 in the morning. Hopefully it's not too busy. I guess we'll see. Now there's a new one to leave in here. This thing is huge. All right, the parking lot here is extremely full. Uh, the lighting in this store is really bad. I'm gonna have to limit to myself to like 10 minutes at the most. I brought my own basket, uh, so that should save a little bit of time. But yeah, let's see how it is. Just made it back from the grocery hole. One of the things I've started doing is using my own shopping basket. Makes it a lot easier, especially when you get to the checkout. You can just scan your stuff and put it back in the basket, no bagging required. And it sits nice and squarely on your lap, because plastic bags tend to slide all over the place. Today, the fluorescent lighting got to me really fast. Here's what I got. Four different kinds of beef jerky, giant sandwich, and trash bags. Tall kitchen trash bags. That's it. In case you haven't seen previous videos, I have an issue with photosensitivity and seizures. Not like full on seizures, but just parts of my brain stop working. The parts that usually tell me where I am or what I'm doing. Fluorescent lighting is a real big trigger for that. So when I go to the grocery store, it's, um, I have to get in and out of there really quick. And if I don't, I wind up wandering in circles. I can't think straight. I, even if I have a shopping list, I still, I get stuff like this. I mean, I don't have any food here, and I've got beef jerky and a sandwich. I need to find some help to go shopping, I think, or I guess I do have Amazon Prime. I could probably just use their delivery service. They have pretty much everything on there. I ran out of cold brew, and that means I had to reach for the decaf. It's still all right, but the whole point of it is caffeine. I 
I came over to Bridgeport to play some Pokemon Go because they spawn like crazy over here. But the weather's disgusting, so I thought I'm gonna go get the I'm gonna go get the van and bring it back over here, sit on the roof of the parking garage, which is in the range of two Pokestops, and that'll be a lot better. But I wanted to make sure the fourth floor of the garage is actually open because sometimes they block it off. Looks like we're good. There's plenty of cars parked up here. All right. I'm gonna go grab the van, which is a lot warmer. It started sleeting and snowing and generally being disgusting outside, so uh, it'll be a lot nicer to sit inside that thing. I did, however, just discover an unintended, unintended consequence of regrooving these tires. And that's when the ground is wet, like from rain these notches on the tires send rooster tails of water into the air and all over me. So these tires are for snow only. It smells like burnt marshmallows in here. There's always different smells in this elevator. We have arrived on the roof of the parking garage. You can see over Bridgeport. Now in theory, I should be in range of a couple of Pokestops. Oh, I totally am, look at that. So I'm gonna crank the heat, crank the music, catch some Pokemon. Okay, uh, 35 minutes is about all I can handle of catching Pokemon. So I'm gonna go find something else to do now. So I'm here at Carl's Jr. I'm actually kind of surprised they're open because more than two snowflakes have fallen. But here we are, not necessarily complaining. So much for the snow, it's just pouring rain now. 